Hello there everyone, welcome back to another video, we are back here inside of the how to make a race clicker type game in Roblox over here guys, this is the next part, maybe part 7, I can't remember exactly what part this is, but today guys we're going to be making the like the round system, um, well we are going to be expanding on this guys, for example blocking the the, the race off and also teleporting them back to the beginning guys so this is going to be quite an interesting video of course an essential one to make your game properly working before i start anything off over here though guys i do have a page one page where you guys can simply download um, and copy and paste these files into the roblox game and um, well the, the roblox studio file um sorry game that you guys are making right now um so you can just simply download these and paste them in so yeah guys it's quite simple if you want to follow along with that anyway guys let's go and get into it now so guys what we are going to go in and do first of all is actually just make a like um a block thing that's gonna just block um out the player so what i'm gonna go in and do over here guys put in the pot make sure guys that this is anchored i'm gonna go in and scale this over here right now guys about this and then i'm just gonna make sure that this covers the whole thing of course guys you would probably want to put yours on like the the race um the well what you guys could do here is just put in um a race section into the workspace right now guys and you could just resize this to match the, the race section over here guys that would probably be um a bit better guys so yeah we can just do this and then make this match with this section right now guys something like this i guess um and if i just do it on this side too of course it's not gonna um need to be perfect over here guys but yeah as long as it's i'm um, lining up over here guys i'm gonna slide that down and then up over here guys so guys now you have this little blockade here on the the race section right now so while this is in the player is not going to be able to go past this so what we are going to do right now guys with this race section um sorry not race section well we want to of course put this race section back inside the replicated storage where it was found but guys we are going to get this part and we are going to call this part um barrier just over here guys so there we go barrier next we're going to put this inside a replicator storage after that guys we already had our um generate round script over here guys where it changed all the values what we're going to do next guys is this okay so we're going to create a new script inside of service script service this script is going to be called round manager just over here guys and we want to do a few stuff right now let me quickly zoom in okay guys so first we're going to do local replicated storage and that's of course going to be game get service sorry not get children get service replicate storage next guys we are going to do local values and that's going to be equal to replicate the storage wait for child values just over here next guys we have local in race and that's going to be equal to values wait for child in race next guys we want to do local um can click and that's going to be equal to values wait for child can click um next we of course are gonna do local barrier and that's gonna be equal to replicate the storage rate for child barrier next guys we want to do a local map and that's going to be equal to workspace wait for child map because that's where we're going to parent this barrier to guys and um, then we want to do local um i think that's actually fine guys for now so what we're going to do next is this we're going to do if in race dot value is equal equal to false and can click dot value is equal equal to false um false then we are going to go ahead and make sure that we well first of all we make we want to make a new bar barrier so we're going to do local new barrier and that's going to be equal to barrier clone and then guys we're going to do new barrier um new barrier dot parent and of course guys we're going to parent this to the map so guys in this instance the, the race is currently not going on and the player can come and not click guys this is just to go ahead and put the barrier in straight away when the round and um, well when the game loads in next we want to do else if um in race dot value is equal equal to true then we are going to make sure that if map um find first child and then we're going to search for the barrier make sure that this is the exact same name then so that means if there is a barrier then we are going to go ahead and do map find first child sorry guys i don't know why i put a space there map find first child of course guys we're going to put the barrier in here and then guys we want to just simply destroy this right now guys okay then what we are going to do is this we're going to do in race dot changed connect function and that means guys whenever um this generates round thing changes the, the in race thing guys of course that's gonna um make sure that this this function gets called so we are gonna do again um to be honest guys we can just 
copy and paste i think this in before here in there guys yeah make sure you guys go ahead and do that and then now if we you know one second i'm gonna quickly just put these all to five as you um as you'll be able to see of course um the different stuff going on guys but yeah um let me quickly just show you guys this right now um here we go so three two one as you can see the barrier is over here we can't go past the barrier and um, click time of course we're clicking to the barrier is not gonna go anywhere but now guys once the race starts the barrier is gonna disappear as you guys can see we have four seconds left three two one and as you guys can see right now guys the barrier is still there but how exactly do we make shit make it so that we go back to spawn whenever the round has ended so all we do right now guys is go to the generate rounds script in service script service and what we want to do here is do for i comma player in pairs and then we're going to do get children one second um pairs get uh so, sorry for player in players sorry guys i don't know what i was doing there for player and players and then we're going to do get children and then do and all we want to do here is do player and then load um load character just over here guys um is that how you spell character i think it is guys i know how to spell character but i don't know if i typed that right there we go guys okay so this 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 should hopefully work so whenever the the round ends we should be um we should have a character reset and we'll go back to spawn so let's try this out guys okay three two one um here we go guys so now it's going to disappear and hopefully in two seconds time we get reset Let's have a little look over here, guys. Are we going to get reset? Yes, guys, we are. And as you can see, the barrier is back. So, yeah, guys, the reason why I went out is because, of course, my um, my little, whatever it's called, guys, my, 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 like, invisible walls over here don't really match up. So, yeah, guys, that was pretty much going to be it for this video here. Quite a small one, quite a simple one, though, guys, but it's quite vital. But, yeah, guys, that's, in fact, going to be it for this video right now. Make sure you guys do subscribe to the channel. And also, check out my Patreon page if you guys do need extra tutorials. and um, Well, not extra tutorials, but tutorials but if you are like struggling i want to download these roblox studio files just go there guys and copy and paste these in but yeah guys that's in fact gonna be up for this video here i hope you all did enjoy this video if you did be sure to like and subscribe to show some support and peace out